Disturbing new details emerging in the deadly prison escape out of West Tennessee. The police report is out. At the same time, the inmate was due in court. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining me. I'm Katina Rankin. My co-anchor, Richard, is off. Curtis Watson was on the run for five days before being caught late Sunday morning. Authorities say during the escape, Watson strangled and sexually assaulted administrator Deborah Johnson. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at the Lauderdale County Justice Center. And Brad, what exactly are prosecutors saying? Well, Katina Lauderdale County prosecutors reiterated this afternoon that they are could pursue this as a death penalty case. While Curtis Watson didn't appear in person or say any words on video, a newly released affidavit shed new details about what authorities said happened before Watson took off from that prison about 15 miles from here. Late this afternoon in a white maximum security jumpsuit, authorities transferred 44-year-old Curtis Watson back to a TDOC prison after he escaped last Wednesday from the minimum security West Tennessee State Penitentiary in Henning. I've never experienced a week like this, no. Lauderdale County prosecutors charged Watson with four new counts, including the first-degree murder of prison administrator Deborah Johnson. In this new modified affidavit, authorities said Watson sexually assaulted Johnson and strangled her with a cord in the bedroom of her home on prison grounds. This is a time uh, to keep her family in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, to allow them to celebrate her life. In Lauderdale County Court this afternoon, Watson couldn't be seen or heard with only his public defender briefly answering Judge Janice Craig. Watson's preliminary hearing is scheduled for September 25th, and doctors will give him a mental examination before that hearing. We're definitely going to work uh, very diligently for the family and for justice in this case. Now, I just found out in the last five minutes that Curtis Watson will be housed at the Riverbend Max Security Institution. He was not eligible for bond because Watson is already serving a sentence for a 2013 conviction for especially aggravated kidnapping. I also reached out to the public defender's office this afternoon, but they had no comment following Watson's appearance here earlier this afternoon. Reporting live at the Lauderdale County Justice Center, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Brad, thank you. Many are remembering the victim of Curtis Watson's escape tonight. Special memorials are being created for Corrections Administrator Deborah Johnson. The 38-year veteran oversaw all four state prisons in West Tennessee. The agency says her death has been felt by all officers and staff. Tributes are being placed at the central office and around all facilities she oversaw in her role. We have gotten numerous recommendations from individuals wanting to know what can they do to support the family? What can they do just to show their appreciation and the impact that Deborah's had on their lives? Visitation for Johnson will be tomorrow from 3 to 7 p.m. at 15th Avenue Baptist Church in Nashville. Her funeral will be Friday at noon at the Temple Church in Nashville.